Hello mga math enthusiasts! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na naman si Teacher Maria, ang inyong math buddy para tulungan kayo sa mga problema niyo sa math. And for today's video, ang pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol sa factoring of polynomial. Pero bago ko simula ng video tutorial na ito, mga anak ko, siguraduhin na muna ang napindot nyo na dyan ng like button. O, pindutin na. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button. At ihit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell. Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. Okay, for learning task number 1, on the chart below, find the factor in column B of each of the given polynomials in column A using the factor theorem. So, gagamitin natin yung factor theorem in order to identify the factors of this one. Pero hindi naman natin kailangan lahat makuha natin yung factor niya kasi ang nakalagay lang naman dito ay find a factor. So, kahit isa lang. Okay na maka-factor niya ang makuha natin. Teka, bakit ang laki masyada nito? Okay, so let's start with number 1. Okay, x squared plus 5x plus 6. Ano kaya yung uh, possible na factors nito? Kung titignan natin yung third term, ang pwedeng factors ng 6 ay 1 times 6, 2 times 3. Okay, and then uh, dito, identify natin alin yung makakapag- pa zero doon sa ating function if we are going to use the factor theorem. Okay, o suppose number 1 ha, we have here p of x is equal to x squared plus 5x plus 6. Okay, so let's choose. Trial and error lang naman yan. Pero kung mapapansin nyo, yung gitna niya ay 5. Ibig sabihin, yung pwede natin kunin dito ay yung factors ni 6 na kapag in natin silang dalawa ay 5 yung magiging answer. So we cannot have 1 and 6 kasi pag in natin sila 7. So we can try to choose 2 and then 3. So let's try... Uh, x plus 2. Diba? X plus 2 yan. Pero if we are going to equate it into 0, this should be x is equal to negative 2. O, let's try negative 2. So, this is negative 2 squared plus 5 times negative 2 plus 6. Okay? Negative 2 squared is 4 plus 5 times negative 2 is negative 10 plus 6. Okay, so 4 plus negative 10, that is negative 6. And then plus 6, negative 6 plus 6 is 0. So, ibig sabihin, P of negative 2 or X plus 2 is one of the factor of this one. So, this is X plus 2. Okay, so nakakuha na tayo ng isa. Okay na tayo dyan, ha? So, for number 2, we have x raised to 3 minus 2, x squared minus 19, x plus 20. Alin kaya dito yung possible factor niya? Okay, dahil ito ay 20, pwedeng 1, pwedeng 4, or pwedeng 2. Okay, so, uh, pwede naman itry nyo lahat, ha? Para makuha nyo kung alin dyan yung makakapagpa-zero dito using our factor theorem. So, sige, mamimili ako. Ang, na, ang gusto kong itry ay yung x minus 1 para positive 1 lang yung isa substitute ko. Tingnan natin kung magiging 0 na siya, ha? x minus 1, so, x is equal to 1, okay? Kasi mas madali siyang isubstitute, diba? So, we have p of x is equal to x raised to 3 minus 2 x squared minus 19x plus 20. So, this is 1 raised to 3 minus 2, excuse me, times 1 squared minus 19 times 1 plus 20. Okay? 1 raised to 3 is just 1. Uh, 1 squared is 1 times 2 is 2. So, negative 2 minus 19 plus 20. Okay, so 1 minus 2 is negative 1 minus 19 plus 20. Negative 1 minus 19 is negative 20 plus 20. And negative 20 plus 20 is 0 na. So, ibig sabihin, yung x minus 1 is a factor siya, ha? So, we have here x minus 1. 
Okay, hindi mo na i-try yung iba kasi sa una pa lang nakasakto ka na. Okay, and then for number 3, we have x raised to 3 minus 2x squared minus 5x plus 6. Okay, so pwede si 3, pwede si 2, pwede si 1. Pero syempre, si 1 pa rin muna yung itatry ko. Mga anak, kung nasakto na sa kanya, ay okay na. Eh di maganda kung hindi, try nyo si x plus 2. Kung hindi pa rin si x plus 4. Kung hindi pa rin si x plus 3. Trial and error lang yan, mga anak. Al alam nyo ba kung anong tawag ko dyan? Pag sa mga estudyante ko, sasabihin ko mga anak, itain nyo lang yan. Ano yung tae? Tae means trial and error. Kaya magtatanong sila, Ma'am, itatae po ba? <laughs> Oo, sige, itatae. Ita trial and error. Okay, so let's try x minus 1 din dito, ha? So, we have x minus 1 equals 0. So, x is equal to 1. Try natin to. So, we have the p of x. Teka, ano bang given nun? p of x is equal to x raised to 3. x raised to 3. Natatandaan nyo ba? Teka. Minus 2x squared minus 5x. Minus 2x squared minus 5x. And then, plus 6. May mga pagkakataon talaga na sa unang trial, hindi pa rin talaga siya. Kaya nga, trial and error. So, kung error, trial ulit. Okay, so let's try P of 1 is equal to X. Oh, 1 na to. Teka. Wait. 1 raised to 3 minus 2 times 1 squared minus 5 times 1. <laughs> times 1 tas times X nilagay ino. Times 1 plus 6. Okay, 1 raised to 3 is 1 minus 2 minus 5 plus 6. Okay, 1 minus 2 is negative 1 minus 5 plus 6. Negative 1 minus 5 is negative 6 plus 6 is 0. So, sakto lang, sakto na sakto lang kay Teacher Maria. Okay, so this is now, anong factor natin? X minus 1. So, this is a for X minus 1. Ayan, ganyan lang mga anak ko. At kung nagkasuhan mo ang video na ito dahil natulungan kita, please i-comment mo yan sa ating comment section ha. Mga anak, please help me up this video by writing a comment sa ating comment section. Makakatulong yun ng malaki para ma-up itong video natin. At syempre, huwag kalimutang, huwag kalimutang i-share sa inyong mga classmates para may guidance sila kung paano ba yung gagawin nila sa mga task nila. And please, lagi kong sinasabi na pakibisi naman ang ating Facebook page Love Math TV. Pa-follow naman si Teacher Maria. Ha? Sige na. At syempre, laging tandaan, let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!